Cycle 1, Week 12, Plants and Animals Classification. Okay, so your director, I'm sure, has a plan for how you should do this week. So I'm just going to talk through some of the different options that there are that directors have shared online. Um, what the book suggests, so basically what we're doing is we're somehow displaying pictures of uh, the different kingdoms of living things. So there's a lovely chart in the Foundations book of the kingdoms of living things, but I find, like, I, ha I found this picture and it's got explanations of each. So that will help if you have random pictures of things such as these that I just found online. Um, it'll help you to identify and put them in the right spots. So you need pictures, so you could use magazines. You could have just you guys, the tutors, bring those in. You could have whole families bring in as many magazines as you can find. You could, like maybe your director goes and buys books from the dollar store or from um, Goodwill that you can cut pictures out of. There are lots of different ways you can find pictures online, like I just showed you. Lots of different ways to find pictures. Uh, keep in mind that things like bacteria, archaea, and protista are going to be the hardest ones to find, so you're going to have to like be intentional about finding those, at least a few of those, and then the rest of them will be really easy. So then how do you display these pictures? There are some different choices. This is one that I liked. It was on Facebook. Um, the lady that made this, so this is in the Facebook files for the directors. So if you're a tutor and you like the look of this, ask your director to find this in the files. If they just search the files for, uh, I think this one came up if you searched classification. Um, this was a cool one and the, the lady who made this actually blew it up into blueprint size to put things directly on. If my tutors want to use it, I'm going to let, I'm going to give them a poster board and let them draw it on there because it's not, you know, they could just draw the lines. I like, just get the general idea, right, of the lines and um, labeling each section. So this is basically just an idea of a way that you could organize it. You could also just do columns where you organize it into columns and you put your pictures down the columns. So it doesn't need to be anything elaborate. So that would be using a poster board. Um, I'm considering getting a trifold board for each class because I think it might be easier to transport. You could also just use a whiteboard and slap pictures up on a whiteboard, which is obviously not savable. That would be um, trashing everything. But if your director, one thing I'm considering doing is finding a bunch of pictures, laminating them, cutting them out, and then basically reusing them. So I'm going to actually talk through this with my tutors to decide what we want to do and um, get their feedback to decide if we want to do that because reusable things are enticing but we don't want to steal the joy and the fun from the kids so possibly a mixture or maybe not the laminating at all so we're going to talk through that but another option is to use their nature journals that they um, used in weeks seven and eight and they can make their own uh, little classification charts like at the end of their book if they have extra pages so you might need to check in or just check your kids books and make sure they have enough space for that in their nature journal if you want to do that and those are the only ways that i have thought of but maybe your director has thought of something really great but basically that that's what you're doing today is you are making a chart of some sort either individually kids can make it like another option could be that you give each kid just a piece of paper like this and they can paste pictures into it. Obviously that would get full really fast because it's a really small piece of paper, but um, kids could draw. You're making this collage kind of thing. They could draw pictures. They could cut them out of magazines, do, do anything they want. So you're just getting the pictures together, putting them up on a poster board, talking through what all the things are, and then maybe displaying them at lunchtime. I think last year or three years ago, we displayed them in the hall for the rest of that day. And then they, they disappeared forever, which is one of the downsides of doing a class one. So really there's a lot of options. Hopefully your director has talked you through that, um, what you guys are going to do as your community. But um, again, there's really no prep work unless you're bringing in pictures from online. So enjoy this week.